everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Emily if this is your first time here you're welcome and if you've been here before thank you very much for coming back so today's video is just to give you an idea of how much it costs to live in the Nipro So if you're a student and you're thinking of moving to the Nipro, just to give you an idea of how much it would cost you to live in the Nipro per month. So the first point I'd like to talk about is accommodation. Accommodation in the Nipro is quite reasonable compared to like the UK, but it might be different if you're coming from another part of the world. So accommodation can cost you around 300 to 400 pounds uh, a month. It could be more than that depending on your taste. So for a 300, 400 pounds a month, you could get like a reasonable apartment, which is like a flat. So for the apartment, a two bedroom apartment in Ukraine is usually one bedroom. If you, if you're talking uh, in relation to UK um, system. So in Ukraine, two bedroom is like one living room and one bedroom. So if you need a two bedroom, you will need to look for a three bedroom, if you get what I mean. So one bedroom and one living room, that's two bed like two living spaces in ukraine but in the uk that is just a one bedroom for a one bedroom is a two bedroom in ukraine because they count the living room as a bedroom so for accommodation on the average you will be looking at 300 to 400 pounds per month on accommodation the strange thing about ukraine is the amount you need to pay for the agency so if an agent gets you a, uh, a property you will need to pay like a commission sometimes that could be up to 100 percent so if your accommodation is like 400 pounds you will need to pay the same as accommodation fee as agency fee or commission which is quite strange but that's the way things are run here and also on top of that you need to pay a deposit so if you are coming in you would need like 1200 or even more to certain your accommodation so 400 for the accommodation for the rent then the deposits would be 100 percent then the uh, agency fee or commission could be up to 100 sometimes you can get like 70 percent or dairy part but some people want 100 so that's why you if you can negotiate you might be able to get something cheaper but generally it's between 70 or 100 uh, or 100 percent of the rent it can depend from one agent to another but this is just a general idea of what it's like to rent in the neighborhood. Then going to bills. The bills is usually um, in relation to the weather. So when it's warm, it's quite warm, and when it's cold, it's quite cold. So in summer, you can look at thirty to forty pounds in relation to water, gas, and electricity. While in winter, it could be up to like eighty to hundred pounds. So if you're in winter, you need more gas, you need more electricity to eat up the house or the apartment so you will need pay more like any other country you will pay more in winter and you pay less in summer in some places they can charge you for security and also for taking out your trash so that's usually around 200 grieven in a month so depend from one landlord to the other that's like five or six pounds which is quite reasonable then the next is internet for the internet you can get a reasonable internet for like 200 grieven which is like five or six pounds which is quite reasonable for uh, your telephone you can get like 250 260 grieving which is like unlimited text unlimited data and unlimited calls and that is around seven or eight pounds um, per month so which is quite good um, for feeding and for food it will depend on your taste but averagely maybe let's say 200 pounds if you are from Africa and you would love some African food they would cost more so but feeding or food is quite subjective to what you eat and how um, 
and how you like if you eat out you expect to pay more but if you cook it will cost less so it depends on your style but if you go for food from like africa or from asia which will cost more this can increase the cost of feeding also as i said earlier the food items in places like varos which is like tesco's here it's quite affordable but if you buy stuff from like African shop, it would be more expensive because of the import duties and other costs associated with importing the food items into the country. The next point is transportation. Transportation is quite affordable here and you've got various options of buses, trams, rails, taxis and like Ukrons and Ubers. So for like the bus, you can get a bus for like 10 grieving which is less than 30p for like a 20 minutes or a 30 minutes journey and same as the tram is like 8 grieving which is quite affordable. Then you could get like Ukron which is the local taxi service and you could search for taxes around and you can adjust the price so you could get the minimum amount that someone is willing to give you right which is a good feature because if there's someone that is willing to take for 100 and someone that is willing to take you for 80 grieving you might save some money by going with the 80 grieving um, taxi driver and uber is also good it helps you and you can get around with uber so Uklon and Uber is usually around 100 grieving um, depending on where you're going. It could be less, it could be more depending on where you're going. The last thing I would say is just like uh, eating out. Eating out is affordable. Like as I said, it's subjective to it in relation to what you eat, where you, where you go. And cinema, cinema is also affordable. It's like 85 it's grieving that's like 250 or 3 pounds. And they show English movies once in a week. So the, this is just a... Uh, video to give you an idea it might not be perfect but just to give you an idea of what you're looking at in relation to cost and in relation to expenses in uh, living in the Nipro. thank you very much once again for watching if you've not subscribed to my channel can you subscribe like and share my videos and also turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified when I post new videos thank you very much once again and I'll see you in my next video bye for now